Okay, this is uh, the next video in the series looking at um, the Dell Venue 8 Pro and its pen performance. I've done a couple of other videos um, showing actually just how bad the active pen you get from Dell was. Um, we've been waiting on a firmware update to, to fix those problems and I just got one uh, yesterday. Um, if, you, if you use the Dell um, utility to go check your drivers or you just go to the Dell support site you'll find this new firmware update um, which is for the touch panel panel touch firmware for Dell Venue 8 Pro 5830 and the version is 1.0.4.2 A02 now if we have okay I've installed the firmware um, I'm happy to say that it's brilliant it's working really well um, now if we're in the desktop one note, if I check the inking it's uh it's pressure sensitive now, if you can see that. I'm sorry I'm running on an angle, but if I go light, we get a light uh, and then heavy I get a deeper one. Now you can see there by the lines before what <laughs> that was me on the bend, sorry on the angle. If I try to oops, pull it straight off. Last line's best. Look, let me get rid of that. Yeah. I'm going on a really funny angle here. What was happening before? Well, actually that, that is what was happening before. But that's me with the pen now. Look, I'll show you on the Metro OneNote. Uh, some scribbles I was doing before. Um, Button works works well now. Changes to the eraser on the. It's making a lot of me right. Um, if you push the back bit of the button, it's the eraser now. The lines. What was happening before? Every line when you lift it off, it would do a kind of a flick. We're not getting that anymore. So I'm glad to say that's been fixed. Uh, it's pressure sensitive now. You can see this is where I was writing before. That's with a light touch you get light lines, with a heavy touch you get a thicker line. Um, that's actually me lifting off, and it's because I'm on an angle, so if we can get in a bit closer here and I do a line and I try to lift straight off. Perfect. No flick. Uh, now I think we tested journal as well last time. Beat that up. It's perfect. The only lift off at the end of the line is actually is me going on an angle, but if I lift the pen straight off, no problems at all. Get rid of all that. Um, text. Excuse my handwriting. I am writing on an angle too. Brilliant. Um, all I can say is this is this is a really good firmware update because it's fixed. Well, basically all the problems. So and. Um, Actually, I'll just show palm rejection is no problems at all now. Oops. Uh, that was with my palm fully resting on it, so no issues at all. What else do we test here? Um, probably go for paint. <coughs> we had issues with handwriting and fresh paint before as well. So that's really good. Uh, maybe if I can do a new one. Again, pressure sen the pressure sensitivity is working. So if I do a really light, I don't know if you can even see that. There's a really light line going on down to really heavy. Perfect. And when I lift off, no flicking at the end. The flicking at the end was the worst problem. And the eraser button's working perfectly now as well, so it's really good. Um, I've also found that the the it's um, improved on the finger touch as well. It's improved um, the finger finger touch as well, so now it's much easier to hit. Before I was finding that you had to be really, really accurate with hitting, especially little things like to trigger the keyboard down there. 
um, now I'm finding that it's much more responsive um, so that's really good to see as well. Now the tip, if I use the tip just making sure you can see that The tip for text entry, God, that's awful, but uh, I think I might get it. Yes, it did. Um, I'm finding that's really good now as well. So all the problems fixed, that's the good news.